velvet soft the night star glowed over the untrodden road through the giant glades of yew where its ray fell light as dew lighting up the shimmering veil made in pure and airy frail that the spiders wove to hide blushes of the sylvian bride earth that trembled with delight at the male caress of night velvet soft the wizard trod to the sabbath of his god with his naked feet he made starry blossoms in the glade softly softly as he went to the somber sacrament stealthily stepping to the thrist in his gown of amethyst earlier yet his soul had come to the hill of martyrdom where the charred and crooked stake like a black and venom snake by the hangman's hands is thrust through the wet and withering dust never black and never dried heart's blood of a suicide he had plucked the hazel rod from the rude and goatish god even as the curved moon's waning ray stolen from the king of day he had learnt the elvish sign given the token of the nine once the rave and once the revel once to bow before the de devil once to swing the thurble once to kiss the goat of hell once to dance the aspen spring once to croak and once to sing once to oil the savory thighs of the witch with sea green eyes with the ungents magical oh the honey and the gal of that black enchanter's lips as he croons to the eclipse mingling that most puissant smell of the giant gods of hell with the four ingredients of the evil elements asperges from golden spar musk of ox from mongol jar civet from a box of glade mixed with fat of many a maid slain by the enchantments cold of the witches wild and old <clears throat> he had crucified a toad in the bellisk abode muttering the runes of verse mad with many a mocking curse he had traced the servant sigil in his ghastly virgin vigil sursum cor the elven hill where the wind blows deadly chill from the world that wails beneath death black's throat and lipless teeth there he had stood his bosom bare tracing life upon the air with the crook and with the flail lashing forward on the gale till its blade that wavereth like the flickering of death sank before his subtle fence to the starless sea of sense now at last the man is come haply to his hail them surely as he waves his rod and a circle on the sod springs the emerald chaste and clean from the duller paler green surely in the circle millions of immaculate pavilions flash upon the trembling turf like the sea stars in the surf millions of bejilled tents for the warrior sacraments faster 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 grows the stature of the master all the ringed encampment vies with the infinite galaxies in the midst a cubic stone with the devil set thereon half a lamb's virginal throat hath the body of a stoat hath the buttocks of a goat hath the sanguine face and rod of a goddess and a god spell by spell and pace by pace mystic flashes swing and trace velvet soft the sigil stepped by the silver starred adept back and front and to and fro soul and body sway and flow in vertiginous caresses in ponderable recesses till at last the spell is woven and the fairy veil is cloven that with sequence space and stress of the soul-sick consciousness give thy body to the beast give thy spirit to the priest break in twain the hazel rod on the virgin lips of god tear the rosary cross asunder shatter the black bolt of thunder such the swat and sanguine kiss of the resolute abyss wonder weft the wizard heard this intolerable word smote the blasting hazel rod on the scarlet lips of god trampled cross and rosy core 
break the thunder tool of, of Thor, meek and holy acolyte of the priestly hells of spite, sleek and shameless canamite of the beasts that prowl by night. Like a star that streams from heaven, through the virgin ears light riven, from the lift there shot and fell, an admirable miracle, carved minute and clean, a key of purest lapis lazuli, more blue than the blind sky that aches, weathered with the stars her torturing snakes, for the dead god's kiss that never wakes, shot with golden specks of fire, like a virgin with desire. Look, the levers, fern frail fonds of fantastic diamonds, glimmering with ethereal azure in each exquisite embrasure. On the shaft the letters laced, as if dry its lunar chaste, with the satyrs were embraced, spelled the secret of the key, sick pervenius, and he went his wizard way in weaving dreams of things beyond believing. When he will, the weary world of the senses closely curled, like a serpent round his heart, shakes herself and stands apart. So the heart's blood flames, expanding, strenuous, urgent, and commanding. And the key unlocks the door, where his love lives evermore. She is of the fairy blood. All smartadine flows its flood, glowing in the amber sky, to ensourced porphyry. She hath eyes of glittering flake, like a cold gray water snake. She hath naked breasts of amber, jetting wine in her bedchamber. Whereof whoso stoops and drinks, reads the riddle of the sphinx. She hath naked limbs of amber, whereupon her children clamor. She hath five navels rosy red, from the five wounds of God that bled each wound that mothered her still bleeding, and on that blood her babes are feeding. Oh, like a rose-winged pelican, she hath bred blessed babes to pan. Oh, like a lion-hued nightingale, she hath torn her breasts on thorns to avail, the barren rose tree to renew her life with that disastrous dew, building the rose, oh, the world alight, with music out of the pale moonlight, Oh, she is like the river of blood that broke from the lips of the bastard god. When he saw the sacred mother smile on the abyss that flew up the foam of Nile, bearing the limbs unblessed, unborn, that lurking beast of Nile had torn. So, for the world is weary, I, these dreadful souls of sense lay by, I sacrifice these impure shoon, to the cold ray of the waning moon, I take the forks said hazel staff, and the rose of no tenon graph, and the lamp of no olive oil, with heart's blood that alone may boil, with naked breast and feet unshod, I follow the wizard way to God. Wherever he leads, my foot shall follow, over the height, into the hollow, up to the calves of pure cold breath, down to the deeps of foul hot death. <clears throat> across the seas, through the fires, past the palace of desires, where he will, whether he will or no, if I go, I, car I care not whether I go, <clears throat> for in me is the taint of the fairy blood, fast, fast its emerald flood, leaps within me, violent rude, like a bestial fawn's beatitude, in me the fairy blood runs hard, my sires were a druid, a devil, a bard, a beast, a wizard, a snake, and a satyr. For, as my mother said, what does it matter? She was a fay, pure of the fairy, Queen Morgan's daughter by an airy, demon that came to Orkney once to pay the beetle his orsons. So it is I that writh with the twitch of the fairy blood and the wizard itch to attain a matter one may not utter, rather than sink in the greasy splutter. Of Brighton's munchin' their bread and butter, 
ailing boys and coarse grain girls, grown the sloppy woman and brutal churls. So I am off with staff in hand to the endless light of the nameless land. Darkness spreads its somber streams, blotting out the elfin dreams. I might haply be afraid, were it not the feather maid, leads me softly by the hand, whispers me to understand. Now, when through the world of weeping, light at last starly creeping, steals upon my babe new sight, light, O oh light that is not light, on my mouth the lips of her, like a stone on my sepulcher, seal my speech with ecstasy, till a babe is born of me. That is silent more than I, for it's an arculatic cry, hushes as its mouth is pressed, to the peril, her honey breast, while its breath divinely ripples, the rose petals of her nipples, and the jetted milk he laps, from the soft delicious paps, sweeter than the bee's sweet showers, in the chalice of the flowers, more intoxicating than all the purple grapes of pan. Ah, my proper lips are stilled, only all the world is filled with the echo that drips over, like the honey from the clover. Passion, pestilence, and pain seek their mother's womb again, and are born in the triple treasure, peace and purity and pleasure. Hush, my child, and come aloft, where the stars are velvet soft.